I'm attorney Nick Alcock. I'd like to talk a little bit about jury trials for DUI cases here in Arizona. And recently in the news, uh, there was an example of a case in Pennsylvania where a judge unilaterally decided after a jury found somebody not guilty of DUI, the judge overruled basically that determination and, deter and uh, found that the individual was actually guilty of DUI for impairment. And I think this is a very, very good example of why everyone should have the right to a jury trial. And in this particular case, I'll give you the facts. A uh, woman was uh, in, in a vehicle. There were three witnesses who said that this woman, who was over the legal limit, was a passenger in the vehicle and there was a designated driver that night. The police officer uh, who saw, who came up to the vehicle after it was already stopped, could not say definitively that the defendant, this woman, was actually the driver and the jury came back not guilty and yet the judge on his own said that this woman was guilty of DUI and found her guilty of a lesser type of DUI which apparently in Pennsylvania you don't need to you're not entitled to a jury trial for and this is exactly what I, I was worried about in Arizona I was worried that uh, by losing your right to jury you're going to see judges uh, effectively find people guilty you know when the evidence isn't necessarily uh, all there and I think an example like this shows that it is possible where you've got a jury of your peers looking at the evidence in a case and saying yeah, you know there's reasonable doubt here uh, and a judge who is used to essentially sentencing people for DUI and used to punishing people for DUI I could see how a judge who maybe is a little bit jaded or maybe a judge has been on the bench for quite some time would say you know what I'm gonna err on the side of caution I'm gonna punish this individual and I think that's what happened here uh, or there in Pennsylvania so what we're looking for is uh, we want obviously a lot of change we're looking for a variety of options to appeal the, the DUI law here in Arizona, and I know that lots of other DUI attorneys are doing so as well. And we really want to see this particular law that was passed overturned, and I think it's incredibly important that everybody who's charged with DUI, regardless of the level of offense, should be entitled to a jury trial. Uh, the other issue, too, with, with the law and your ability to have a jury trial is that for a, a bench trial in Arizona where you, you've lost your right to a jury, it's for a first offense DUI, a regular DUI, where there's nothing really special about it. Over time, people are going to realize that if a jury trial is going on, if you're sitting on a jury in Arizona, this isn't a first offense low blood alcohol concentration DUI. This is a serious DUI. This is a DUI where someone has got a prior or has got a, you know, a, a conviction in the past for DUI. And that really is going to, I think, affect the way that juries will even see DUI defendants, as opposed to across the board having a, a, a level playing field where everybody's on the same page. Uh, now we're dividing up defendants into uh, serious and non-serious DUIs, which I think is a very, very uh, slippery slope. I think it's very problematic because if you're on a jury for a DUI case in a city court, you'll know that this is a more serious DUI than one that, uh, that used to be just a, a regular misdemeanor, you know, first offense. So uh, well, we're, we're going to be following this very closely, and I look forward to hopefully seeing this, this law overturned. Thanks so much.